Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you guys a program called Hamster Free Zip Archiver. Uh, what it is, is it's basically, uh, as you can see in the title, it pretty much says it all, it's a free zip archiver. Uh, go on their website real quick, show you guys this, it's a lot like 7-zip. And I just plain like it better because it's a lot easier, for, in my opinion, to compress files, and it's free, just like 7-zip. But anyway, so first off, I'm going to be showing you guys the difference between a zip file, the compression sizes, and a 7-z file. All right, so I'm going to be using this video as an example because videos video compressions are usually the biggest compared to if you're going to do a text compression or a picture compression so this video is originally 51,891 uh, kilobytes so here we go we have it right here first I will do it on zip and I'm going to do the compression level to maximum and I'm going to hit compress. Just drag that in there. Not bad. There we go. Okay. <coughs> so we wait a few seconds for this to compress it. And it's going to be right there named Camtasia Studio.zip. Uh, zip files are pretty they've been around for a long time I guess so they're useful for smaller images and videos but if you are trying to upload something like let's say you're an artist and you're trying to upload like an album that's over a gig and you want to fit it onto mega upload but you you know mega upload only unless you have one gig if you use this as you can see when I open this up it actually um, only compresses this to about the original size, 53,000 uh, kilobytes, and it compressed it down to 50,000. So, 3,000, that's a 3 megabyte difference. Not that big a deal on YouTube or, or on Mega Upload. Really, 3 megabytes wouldn't make that much of a difference. You need something bigger than that to upload big files. So, now we're going to do 7-zip, or well, 7-z, sorry about that, and we'll do compression level, maximum, and there's going to be an amazing difference. I'm going to basically blow you guys away. If uh, you don't know a lot about computers, then this will probably be pretty new to you. Compressing. And then I will show you uh, two side by side the file sizes. It's a pretty incredible difference. There we go. Okay, so this is the seven zip file. This is the zip file just zip and this is 7z I keep calling it 7zip sorry so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go back this amount right here is the size of the file in the like the folder is 50 megabytes and this one is 33 megabytes so we took off a pretty big chunk so I think that that's a pretty big deal especially if you're trying to get videos on YouTube or files on Mega Upload and you want to get them in one part because a lot of people find getting files on Mega Upload in more than one part really annoying I know that I do so I really recommend you guys use 7z I personally think it's a lot better than RAR um, it's all about I guess preference I just don't like using RAR and compressing it down to that and yeah pretty much hamster free zip archiver it also can open zip files and it can basically do everything that winrar can and 7zip so 
I really recommend this program. It's really easy to use. Um, basically, when you open the program, it's all common sense stuff. You just uh, for the compression level, low or medium minimum means that the fastest it'll take the least amount of time to compress, but the files will be a lot bigger compared to if you hit maximum and if you hit optimal then it'll be you know in the middle also another nice feature is lock you can actually put a password on your uh, archives which is a pretty nice feature um, the settings I'll go over these real quick yeah just the language you can adjust the background from light to dark it's not that big a deal and that's pretty much it Thank you guys for watching, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.